Saxon Algebra 1, Lesson 46. This lesson is about conjunctions. We designate the numbers greater than 5 like this. That reads x greater than 5. And the numbers less than 10 like this. That reads x is less than 10. If we want to designate the numbers that are greater than 5 and also less than 10, we can write x is greater than 5 and x is less than 10. The word and is a conjunction. When used like this, it tells us that a number x must make both parts true. On the number line, the solution to x is greater than 5 and x is less than 10 looks like this. Notice the open circles at 5 and 10. Those are not included in the solution set. We can also write it this way. 5 less than x and x less than 10. And the meaning is the same as x is between 5 and 10. A shorter notation is to write this. This corresponds to the number line graph and is the most common notation for stating that a number is between two other numbers. Be careful about this notation. When x is written between two numbers, the statement always implies an AND condition. In other words, it is a conjunction. If we were to write this statement, 5 greater than x greater than 10, such a statement would not make sense. This statement says 5 is greater than x AND x is greater than 10. That's impossible. Because if 5 is greater than x, then x is less than 5, so x couldn't be greater than 10. On the other hand, the statement 10 greater than x greater than 5 makes sense and is equivalent to 5 less than x less than 10. A rule of thumb is to see if blocking out the x and one of the inequalities leaves us with a statement that makes sense. For example, if we block out this x and its inequality, we have 10 is greater than 5, and 10 greater than 5 makes sense. And if we block out this x and its inequality, we are left with 5 is less than 10, and that makes sense. Here's an example, example 1. Draw a number line graph and graph the solution of negative 2 less than x less than or equal to 4. We must use an open circle at negative 2 because that's not included and a closed circle at 4 because of the equals there. So we get this graph. x is between those two numbers and could equal 4. Example 2. Write a conjunction that describes this graph. Here we have x between negative 5 and 0, but it can include negative 5, but not 0. So the solid circle at negative 5 tells us negative 5 is included, and the open circle at 0 tells us 0 is not included. And so we write this inequality. x is between those numbers, and it can include the negative 5. Example 3. Write the conjunction that designates the numbers that are greater than negative 1 and less than or equal to 5. It looks like this. x is between those numbers, and it has an equals along with the less than 5 there. Example 4. Graph the solution of this inequality. It looks a little strange, 
The inequalities are pointing the other way. First, we rewrite the conjunction so the numbers are in the same order as the number line. And then it becomes this inequality. So x is between negative 7 and negative 2, and it can include the negative 2. So we draw the number line graph with a solid circle at negative 2 and an open circle at negative 7. This is the end of lesson 46. Your assignment, problem set 46 on pages 186 and 187 of your book.